Hey guys, welcome to Smart Talk Wrestling Reviews. I am your host, Boise, and welcome to NXT Review. We've got a very interesting episode this week. It is uh, Keith Lee getting the NXT crowd to bask in his glory. Lars Sullivan uh, dominating as per usual. And then we finally see the collision of Nikki Cross and Candice LeRae. All this as well as video packages from NXT TakeOver War Games 2. So with all that said and done, let's hit the music. So we kicked off the show and it was pretty much majority of this, this week's episode of NXT was recaps of what happened at War Games. But our first match was Keith Lee versus... Uh, Bravo. Now, Bravo, I'd never heard of before, but Keith Lee was absolutely brilliant. It was a very short match, didn't take long. Most of the matches here didn't last long this week on NXT. Uh, Bravo didn't appreciate Keith Lee getting the crowd to uh, chant, hit, chant, bask in his glory. Um, Keith Lee got kicked in the head. Uh, sorry, he got hit in the head. Didn't take that well. And then destroyed Bravo very sh in a very short period of time. Again, this is just an introduction because Keith Lee hasn't had a big opponent just yet. Um, but we can tell who his big opponent is going to be in this week's episode. Uh, but it, yeah, got a 5 out of 10. Um, good introduction. Keith Lee, just quick match. And you want to see it sometimes where the fans get to see the babyface win quite quickly. Next up we had... Lars Sullivan versus a local talent. Uh, this match again was very quick. Lars just absolutely destroyed his opponent, took the mic, demanded an NXT title match, and this is his warning, and then destroyed the talent again after winning the match. Uh, this caused Keith Lee to come out to stop him from hurting the, the young wrestler. Uh, both men collided. Uh, Lars Sullivan came out worse, and then afterwards we also got a backstage part where uh, Lars Sullivan and Keith Lee were arguing, um, Keith Lee threatening uh, Lars Sullivan and Lars Sullivan said we'll see each other next week. So this could be Lars Sullivan's last feud before he goes up to the main roster. We've already seen the uh, video packages of Lars Sullivan. So it would make sense. I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 because the Keith Lee stuff would up it a grade for me. Uh, the backstage interactions as well as the in match after the match interactions as well really could build up a really good feud here uh, obviously this is Lars is most likely Lars's last feud before he goes up um, but yeah good match good good little segment here and last but not least we had Nikki Cross versus Candice LeRae um, I'm going to talk about the negative first and then I'm going to talk about the Positives, because there was there was only one negative, and for me it was the choreograph at the beginning. Now you could tell Candice LeRae and Nikki Cross were trying to work out the next move and next move and next move, and you can you know when you see a wrestler and they're like, right, they kind of slow down the match a little bit too obvious, where they're like, oh Nikki has to do this and then I've got to do that, and then that's how it. You could see it in Candice LeRae's face, and I'm going to give that a little bit of a negative because. Um, you just expect from Candice LeRae and especially Nikki Cross them to be able to get through them from the start. That was only at the start. Then they got the ball rolling and it's finally like the chemistry finally started to to really get going. Um, but yeah, at the start it was it was very like oh oh we need to do this and we need to do that. But that was the only negative. Uh, Candice's selling was brilliant. Nikki's oh brilliant. Nikki Cross is absolutely fun to watch. Her psycho psychotic scary twisted sister act is brilliant um, Candice LeRae not going down by the purge the first you know she's the first person not to get pinned by the purge Nikki Cross's finisher that was that was impressive that just that elevates Candice LeRae already uh, Candice looked like she was getting Candice aggressiveness uh, very much like her husband Johnny Gangano very much worked into this match as well. Uh, could we see a Candice LeRae heel turn at some point? Probably. I can see both Johnny Gangano and uh, Candice LeRae turning heel at the same time because I like to keep those two together. Um, and I've got to say, uh, Candice LeRae's high flying in the match was perfect as well. 
and Nikki Cross. Ah, oh, she's just brilliant. She is. She's my favourite NXT women's wrestler right now. Um, but yes, Nikki did get the victory. It was a hard fought victory for Nikki. Uh, apart from the slow start, the match really caught, caught fire, really got going after a while. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Worth watching, guys. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. That was NXT. Like I said, there was not much to it. A lot of the show, about 30 minutes of the show, was dedicated to highlights from NXT TakeOver War Games 2. And even the stuff which they said was exclusive to NXT, we'd seen already. So it was kind of like, oh, okay. Uh, the matches themselves were very, very, very much uh, squash matches apart from the Nikki Cross and Candice LeRae match. If this is Nikki's final match before going to the main roster, I'm not complaining. I think Nikki deserves to go up to the main roster, SmackDown most likely with Sanity. Um, if we, if that's it, that's great. I think she should go off in a victory. Um, really looking forward to the Keith Lee and Lars Sullivan feud. I think that's going to be a good way to send off Lars Sullivan. But yeah, there's not too much to talk about with this week's episode. I think it, it just pretty much sold itself. Uh, I'm going to give this, episode, this week's episode of NXT a 6 out of 10. I know it's a very low score for NXT, but it had too many highlights and not enough matches. But it makes sense. It's, it's the NXT after war game. They don't have time to fill out a lot of uh, matches. So yeah, no complaints. What was your favourite part of NXT? this week leave it in the comments below guys if you do like our videos please like subscribe and press the bell ding and if you want to follow us on twitter you can do it's at smack talk youtube and if you want to follow me on twitter it's at boise 88 and i'll see you guys next time on smack talk wrestling reviews